All right, what's poppin', man? Uh, you already know, man. It's another conversation, Mr. J Hill. Uh, conversation series, man. We live in D.C. Apex Sound Studios. Uh, shout out to the guys for letting us use the spot. Yeah, uh, for sure. You already know, man. We did. We sat down before. We ain't really get a conversation in. Now we get a chance to have a conversation. My guy, V.S. Frizz is in the building. What up, dog? What's up, my guy? What's yeah, up? we here for sure, man. What up, though? Man, how you been? First of all, I want to say I appreciate you for reaching out and shit, man. I, um, I actually was, I was thinking about you not too long before you had hit me. And when you hit me, it was like, it just was the universe. Right on so, time, huh, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Nah, shit, I just been working, though, for real. Though. I've been working, man, getting my mixtape together. I got a new mixtape coming out 16 shots later. Been through a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got my my mixtape coming out, main thing. That's the main thing I've been right. focusing on is my music, working on that shit, new videos. I got about four or five videos already ready. Just about to be releasing all this new music. 16 shots later, of course, we... um. That that's that's real life situation that happened. Well, no, nah, for sure, hundred percent. You got shot sixteen times. Unfortunately, it had to happen for my shit to go up. You know what I'm saying? But now my shit's starting to actually go up, and people noticing who I am. You know what I'm saying? It took me to get shot sixteen motherfucking times. Sixteen you feel me? fucking times. It's crazy how people how perspective is, right? Because yeah. you know, like you think it took for you to get shot sixteen times for your shit to go up, but I'm like, I mean, when I first got onto you, I thought your shit was already lit. Like I thought it was already going up at that moment. It was like yeah. three years ago. Yeah, right, right. When yeah. you did the. Uh, the, the uh, shit with Tay and all that shit, the other, uh, a lot of shit on my yeah, mind. Yeah, a lot of shit yeah, on my yeah, mind. Yeah, that's my I, thing right there, that's my dog. That shit was going up. Yeah, for sure. Was that one of your, like, Niggas thought I was views? from Baltimore. Yeah, yeah, for sure, that was, yeah. See, I thought you was from VA, because I didn't know, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then I, when I talked to you, I found out you was from Michigan. Yeah. So, like, I, w- I didn't even understand. A lot of that. niggas like, man, you from, you from out here, you from Baltimore, man? I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm from Michigan, bro. But I fuck with Tay, you know what I'm saying? Right. He a real nigga, real recognized, real. He a real nigga. I fuck with dude. I fuck with dude, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the, the situation in LA, man, if you don't mind. Um, yeah. Like, what? What? How did that happen? Like, how did that shit unfold, man? Shit, man. It was. It really just happened like this, for real. You know what I'm saying? I just was walking to get some tacos. I look up, a nigga jumping out the back seat, masked up, hooded up, and, and shooting. You feel me though? I look at him. I'm like, damn. I'm trying to get him to realize, like, damn, he don't know me or some shit like that. You feel me though? But I don't know what's going on. The nigga just started shooting. Hit me. He hit me like. Three, four times in my stomach off the buck. I cover up my, my shit with the right iron, you know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to get this shit up off me. Like, damn, this nigga busting shit out of me. I'm thinking about to kill me. So I covered that shit up. He told my right arm up. He hit me, he hit my shit like five times. He fuck my shit up. Let me see. Yeah. He hit my right arm like five times. Fuck my shit up. Hit me all in my under. I put my arm up, hit me in my under iron. I couldn't lift this bitch up for a long time. Yeah, I saw me. you was um on yeah, the video. Yeah. Yeah. Doing your rehab shit. Uh huh. I've been doing that shit lately. My shit ain't all the way back, but I'm all. You know what I'm saying I'm getting there though. My shit can lift up now. <clears throat> and you said it was like you said like two white ladies has say it. Yeah, d- them them the motherfuckers that really put it together and helped me for real. You mm-hmm. feel me? When they came out there and took their clothes off and tied them around me and everything, that's what really saved me. The doctor was like, "Well, I told him what happened." Like, man, he like, "What happened?" Like, they did what? And I'm like, "Yeah, they did that." He like, "Man, they saved your life because you needed like three cans, three like." Pop cans of blood, something I got there, you feel me? Two and a half, to be exact. Yeah. So what's your That's to, a lot uh, of blood, you know what I'm saying? Two and a half pop cans of blood that I lost, you feel me? Man, it's definitely a blessing. Was you able to I know you was looking for him to um like to show your gratitude I was looking and thanks. For him, yeah, I went you back up to find? The, Nah, I ain't never find him. I went back up to the taco place and everything where uh, where I ordered the tacos at, cause they ain't they ain't never get my tacos. But shit. They uh they ain't never know the ladies either. They were just some random ladies walking down the street. That was God. You kind of find out. <clears throat> one of them was a nurse. You know what I'm saying? Damn. When I went back up to the, to the taco shop looking for him, they was like, yeah, it was a nurse. One of them was a nurse. I'm like, damn, I ain't know she was a nurse. That's how she knew exactly what to do. She instructed everybody. It was like a, like God sent her to help me. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, she instructed everybody to do what they what they supposed to do and put pressure on this. Tie this around that. Hold him up. She talking to me the whole time, keeping me awake. I'm asking her, like, damn, you think I'm about to die? You know what I mean? She telling me, like, no, I ain't about to die. She keeping me up, slapping me. You know what I'm saying? But she she really like pulled me through that shit though until the ambulance got there. Then I was good for real. I was in good hands. And you said that 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 situation wasn't even meant for you. I don't know what that shit was meant for though. For real, nigga just got out bust my ass. I don't know what the fuck going on. Nigga just told me to fuck up. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. I can't. Re- I don't know because the nigga shot me so many times. When the police came, my motherfucking uh, in the, in the, uh, in the hospital to visit me, they like man, it had it meant for you, nigga. Nigga ain't gonna shoot the wrong person sixteen that's, times. You that's what me? I was thinking. Yeah. So I just probably got some haters out here, niggas that's really just on my spot though, for real, cause I'm just winning and doing good in life, you feel me? Taking care of my family, taking care of my mama, you know what I'm saying? Taking care of life, taking care of my team, 
me and my niggas shining, we winning, we, you know what I'm saying, shit looking, we make shit look easy. And these niggas probably broke, scratching their head, like, man, fuck this nigga. I just don't even want him to shine. I just want to kill him. You know what I'm right. saying? Niggas just don't want to see you shine. You so feel me? Some people say maybe you should shine, shine in the dark. Shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, not be so flashy, I guess. Did that make you second feel, guess being flashy so much? Nope. Made me buy more shit. I just bought this right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> paid, paid 100 for this. You know what I'm saying? Shit. 180 for my watch. But like shit, it made me made me wanna like it made me wanna do more. You know what I'm saying? It made me wanna put my foot on their neck, you feel me? If niggas wanted to kill me then, they really wanna kill me right now, you know what I'm saying? Shit, cause I'm gonna go crazy, you feel me? You actually dropped a track called Sixteen Shots, right? Yeah, sixteen shots later, yeah. Sixteen shots later and you naming the, the project after that. Yeah. Sixteen shots later. Yeah, I ain't gonna wear it out though. It's the last thing I'm gonna do with it. When the um when the last time, cause I was on your YouTube, bro, and I ain't like I said, I, I ain't see a lot of videos. When the I last had, time I had before dropped, that, when did you Before that, right before that I just dropped the mixtape. Okay. I just dropped the mixtape on like, let me see, April, April 27th. Then I got shot May 5th. So I ain't really get a chance to like put all the promotions together, you know what I'm saying? Promote the shit so everybody can hear it. And I ain't get a chance to shoot no videos, you know what I'm saying? It just was on there, just on YouTube. No mm -hmm. video. I got one video to it or nothing. Because I got shot the fuck up right after that. But I was in the middle of shooting a video. Me and Almighty J had like, we had about 600,000 in the crib. And we was just like dancing around, you know what I'm saying? We was like doing some little thriller shit, you know what I'm saying? We doing trailer, you know what I'm saying? He, I don't even know how to work the shit. He showing me how to work the shit for real. You feel me? We, we doing trailer, we showing the money, we out there having a ball, and I get shot a couple days after that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy how much people be hating on other niggas' success and just instead of like saluting them, right? I said this a lot. But like it's so, it's more money in the world than it is people, right? And if we yeah. all stay in our lane, we can get a part of that money on our own. So we all can be rich, right? I feel no, like a lot sure. of times people try to cross over in somebody else's lane. That's when accidents happen. Right. And it's like, you don't have to you don't have to hate to get your own money. Nah, for sure, man. It's crazy. Boosie was talking about um how people shouldn't stay home because like that's when a lot, a lot of shit happened, like yeah. from your hometown. But mm -hmm. you like you I ain't even from even, LA. Yeah, you wasn't I'm even just in down your hometown. There on some chilling shit just down there. Cause coronavirus had just hit in, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like taking my folks down there, me and my folks just down there, just chilling, you know what I'm saying? We're like, damn, we wanna get away, everything closed down. Let's go to LA, get an Airbnb. We just go down there, chill for about we had got the bitch for like two months, but we was down there. I was down there for about like three weeks to a month. I ain't even get to spend the whole two months in that bitch. You feel me? I spent the rest of the time in the hospital. Right. What would you huh? think about uh, like artists staying home in that home city and being lit in that home city because of the hate? But it's like it's gonna happen regardless. Regardless, man. Niggas just gotta stay prepared. Nigga gotta be ready for that shit. Nigga gotta. If you know what I say, you know what you're doing. You know, nigga know what they out here doing. Nigga know. They out here trying to get some money and support their family. You know you want to shine and look good and shit. Like, you ain't the only one that like that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, the other niggas like that shit, too. And some people can't get that shit. So they so they want to take it from you. You feel mm -hmm. me? So you just got to be ready for shit like that. You Regardless, know what I'm saying? Hometown or yeah. not. Question, what, ready. what made you leave uh, Michigan to come to the DMV? I left Michigan a long time ago. I, I left Michigan shit. I was into a whole bunch of shit down there. I just was, like, beefing every day. You know what I'm saying? Beefing like a motherfucker. We getting about three, four shootouts every week. You know what I'm saying? So shit, on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So. Nigga, nigga wouldn't want to live like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never been shot in Michigan. I never been shot in my whole life. I was really playing defense down that motherfucker. I'm down there in LA thinking shit cool, just chilling. You feel me though? Then I get hit all these motherfucking many times. Mm -hmm. When I ain't even on shit. You feel me though? When I am on shit, nigga, you feel me though? Niggas ain't on, niggas ain't on shit. You feel me? But then when I'm on shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, damn, they caught me. But made me leave Michigan. My sister, my sister, uh, she went to Howard. She went to Howard out of DC. So she ain't want to go down there by herself. She like, man, I want the family to come down here with me. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't had nothing going on. I had just got out of prison for some shit. I was retaliating for my brother. My brother had got killed. So we was all, I was some bullshit trying to retaliate for that. So then, uh, I, after I get out of prison for that, I get out of prison for attempt. I get out of prison for that. And then we sh we shoot straight down to Maryland. I shoot, I moved. I stayed in Michigan for like one day. Threw a party down that bitch, chill. You know what I'm saying? We chill with my homeboys, chill with everybody, fuck with everybody, and shot up out of there. And we moved my family down to, down to Maryland. Yeah. Damn, so you've been doing, you, but what, you were doing music in Michigan as well, or you started nah, when you got down here? I started doing Michigan down, not down music, music down here. I started doing music down here. What, what was the uh, motivation behind that? What made you start doing music? The motivation was shit. Me just walking around the house, coming up with little bars and putting that shit together. People around me like, man, that shit sounds sweet, man. You probably should try that shit, you know what I'm saying? Then I already had like chains and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm about to just try this shit. I'm about to go ahead and put my foot on the fucking, try this shit. Trying everything else, you know what I'm saying? Everything else, might as well. We we try anything else, might as well try to come a millionaire with this music shit. Do you think like like you said you already had chains and shit like that? Do you think having a bag already makes it easier to to make music and be a rapper? 
Because I feel like a lot of rappers that's good, they, they chasing that money so they can have chains and things like that and get this money. Right. But they don't have the image behind them. Do you think already having an image makes it easier to have Having money definitely play a big ass part in it. But like, it's really about relationships. It's really about, about building relationships, you know what I'm saying? You can have all the money you want, man. But if you ain't got no no good music or you ain't got no relationships, then shit, you gonna just be shit that sitting on that shit. You how know, you how, 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 how do you build in relationships in the industry without money though? Like, cause I feel like a lot of times you gotta pay for features or whatever. Like, right, how, how right. are you building some of your relationships? Of quality music, you know what I'm saying? Shit that people can relate to. Like, damn man, you know what I'm saying? People hear shit like, man, I can I can fuck with that, man. I can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas sending you beats, shit like that. You linking with people and just out being out. You know what I'm saying? Like meeting new people. But playing devil's advocate though, bro, I think you just being honest. Because you got you do got you do have good music, right. but you do have the image that come with it though. Right. And I feel like we can't ignore that because there's a lot of motherfuckers out here that got good music, right. but they don't have nothing else that come with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like the image can't help honestly because no, like sure. yeah, yeah. It, it look like like yeah, no funny shit. Like, like if I'm gonna be beside a nigga that's lit, like if I'm lit, I need to be beside. My nigga that's lit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be beside a no bum, if that makes sense. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I th- nigga don't just got to be no bum just because they ain't got no jury, though. I know mm-hmm. a lot that's of niggas that got no, a, whole, a, like, a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. They don't got no jury. You know what I'm saying? But like, shit. But the, everybody don't look at it like that. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't look at it like that. People, when you're trying to gain mm-hmm. a, a crowd for your for your music, you're going to have to shine. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to shine, but like, like J. Cole, he 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 winning and he ain't, and he ain't most got no jury like that. But he no can, I think he could be way further if he had some shine. You, know you what think saying? so? Hell yeah. I think honestly, I think like 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 Jay the Kiss, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, if he was out shining like a motherfucker, he hard as hell. You feel yeah. me? He was shining hard too. And he been he brought a different crowd. And I think he would have went way harder. Now let's get into the music, bro. I actually fuck with your music, man. Like just honestly, you're not just saying that because we here. I was just listening to like a few of your tracks right. on YouTube. Like where you going at with it now? I know you you working on the tape, but like who are some of the people you working with? Can you can you drop some names or like like feature type? Yeah yeah yeah. I be fucking with I fuck with my nigga Peasy Peasy my dog. I fuck with uh, I fuck with Cuta Fool. I fuck with uh, let me see. I fuck with a couple of niggas with the rap shit. Basically I don't know. Let me see. Almighty J. Yeah, so these are nigga. some of the people that's gonna be on your tape. No, I put Q on there. Okay. It's really all about me though for real though with the mm. people to get you know what I'm saying more like comfortable with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I put Q on there because we got a hard ass son together. Me and my nigga Payne got some shit. I've been dropping all singles with him though, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like, really, I just really <clears throat> wanted to put this tape 16 shots later just more mainly on me, you know what I'm saying? I got a whole bunch more music that I'm gonna drop on me's tapes later. But right now, I wanted this bitch to be about VS. What's what's some of, what's the the main message that you want to convey in this in this tape? Well, besides, you know, of course, getting shot 16. I'm, I'm back. I'm, I'm I'm back. I'm on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas ain't stop shit. That shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit. It took. I ain't take me about four, five months to bounce back. Or all, all the way back. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I ain't all the way back. But I'm on my feet. I'm driving around. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm right. playing defense. I can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? You did your video. It was like relatively new. I'm like, damn. Like yeah. you was already talking shit, popping shit, like in the video. And that, right. that shit wasn't even. That wasn't that long. Yeah, it wasn't that long. No, I ain't take that long. Probably like four months for me to really like get back. You know what I'm saying? And moving around. I couldn't walk or nothing. I got hit in both of my legs. Not yet. No, no. I got hit in this leg. I could, I could move my right leg. That's the only thing I could move mm. was my right leg. I couldn't move no irons. I couldn't move motherfucking my left leg. I couldn't sit up in the bed. I couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I was scooting across the bed with, with the back of my head so motherfucking much. I had a big ass ball spot in the back of my head. Mm. Just from scooting across the bed, you feel me? Then I had a motherfucking shot on my ass. So I'm peeling the scab off my ass shot every time I scoot across the bed that shit hurting like a motherfucker I'm like man this nigga hit like me a bed sore, right? you feel me huh like a bed sore like nah hell nah from him shooting oh yeah you know like you said yeah but damn that shit is crazy yeah. dog like but like I said man it's a blessing to be here you know what I'm saying yeah. we got music coming yo I, I was talking about the uh, videos and shit I fuck with the visuals and yeah. you say you trying to do more yeah. like are you how many video how many visuals you trying to drop with the uh, tape I'm dropping a, I'm dropping a uh, video for every song damn yeah Jeez. That's why I'm coming from now on. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming out like that every time. I'm dropping a video for everything I put on there. Everything that I put on there, I feel like it's enough quality to have a, a video. How many to tracks it. you thinking about having on there? I got ten on there right now. Okay. I'm only gonna put ten on there. I was gonna put like seven or six something like that, but I got ten songs that I like. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I got a whole bunch of music. You know what I'm saying? But these ten right here, this got to be on that 16 shots later mm-hmm. on that project. So I'm putting these 10 right here on this project, and then I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of singles. I'm gonna drop some more mixtapes after that. But for this project right here, I got 10. I'm dropping a video for every one of them. I got probably like four, five videos shot already. Gotta shoot some more. We just we was in the middle of shooting one today. 
but that was on some different shit. That was just on some humbug shit, some shit we had came up with in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Me and my nigga Payne. So. Nah, man. Again, man, I appreciate the sit down, dog. Uh, if there's anything that you want the people to know that we ain't talk about or whatever that we nah, ain't yeah. uh, touch on. Yeah, Sixteen yeah, shots yeah. later coming out. Uh, when it's dropping. I'm working on it right now. I'm getting everything cleared and everything. I I, had, I thought it was the beats that I was had to get cleared and everything. I thought I had to get the motherfucking certified beats and everything, but I got all the paperwork for the beats. But this is a clearance I'm waiting on from uh, another artist, Q the Fool. So I'm waiting okay. to get this clearance from him. So when I get this clearance from him, so right now set out the promotions. Hmm? When you when you think about dropping it though, like probably like within the next two weeks. All right. So yeah. we're gonna drop this, bro. Yeah, sure. Um, we're gonna push this however however we can. Send me some tracks. Get it on the radio and all that. Make sure it's clean. But sure. um, you already know you got my love and support, man. Whatever right. you need, dog. Respect that. Already, man. It's the J Hill Man Conversation Series. My guy, BS Frizz. It's a wrap. We out. All right.